Welcome to the Marvelous Designer New User Tips and Tricks series. In this series, we will cover troubleshooting methods for common issues you may encounter while working in Marvelous Designer. In this video, we will cover some troubleshooting methods for when your imported avatar is too small. For these lessons, I will be using the default user settings under the settings option and a three button regular mouse. Let's get into it. For importing your avatars, it is best to work in human scale with Marvelous Designer. The algorithm and cloth properties are dependent upon working in human scale, where the cloth reacts to gravity at the scale that it would in real life, or the definition, how humans interact with their environments based on their physical dimensions, capabilities, and limits. So a cloth example would be, if you have a small 50 millimeter square of fabric, it will not bend and wrinkle as much as a larger 50 millimeter square of cloth would, such as the nature of woven fibers, which are made at human scale and how they react with gravity. Or a simpler example would be to think how doll's clothes drape versus human-sized garments if they're made of the same cloth. This is why, compared to other softwares that work at relative scale, Marvelous Designer works best with avatars imported at human scale. So it is best practice to import your avatars at about 1200 millimeters to 2000 millimeters in height. Here's best practice. Measure your avatar if you're worried about it being too small. This will work for 9.5 and 10 and above. This is an option that you all have. Go to the avatar toolbar, go down to measurements, and you'll see height measure avatar. And you can use this tool to measure the highest point on your avatar, clicking the top of her head, and it'll bring up a little measurement here. This one says 1,856.7 millimeters. This is telling me that she is within the 1200 to 2000 millimeter height range, which is what I want. Now, for those of you with Marvelous Designer 10 and above, you have a second option. You can go to the select or move tool and you can select your imported avatar and then going to the property editor and down to specification, you can see the scale options. We have X, Y, and Z axes, and you can see on the Y axis, she is 1,875.7 millimeters tall. Here, I can also change her height, but I'm not going to be doing that. And this is a good way to check and make sure that your imported avatar is the correct scale if you are encountering problems or have this concern. Here are some telltale signs using hotkeys as well as some interface points that can tell you if your avatar is imported too small. First of all, in my 3D window, she looks pretty good. I'm moving her around. At this angle, it looks fine. But if I use my hotkeys for the camera in the 3D space, use, which are um, the number keys, two is for the front, eight is for the back, and four and six are for the sides. If I select the two key, it zooms out, making her a lot smaller than I anticipated. This is a telltale sign that she is far too small for my workspace. And then cycling around, I can see the same thing. As well as referencing the grid in the 3D space to my avatar, she does look really small. And as you get used to using Marvelous Designer more and more, you'll be able to tell the actual height of your avatars as you're working. Thirdly, if your avatar did get imported with arrangement points because it is human shaped in an A pose with two arms and two legs, you can check and reference it against those arrangement points. Even at this height, even at this scale here, she still has her arrangement points. But if I turn those arrangement points on, they're not at the correct scale. This is another indicator. Or if you don't even have arrangement points at all when you import your human humanoid avatar, that's another indicator that your avatar might not be the correct size. Let's go ahead and draft a shirt for our too small avatar. Since we are zoomed in, we can't tell that she is too small, but watch what happens when we make her a shirt. This has a lot of curves in it. And here we can see the signs. Let me turn off the mesh. First of all, this is, oops, 
This is patterning. So you can see here, the mesh is too big for this avatar. And this is our base 20 particle distance mesh. This is telling us that the avatar is too small. So you can see here that the mesh is actually coming out of the vector pattern. A lot of users encounter this problem. So if this is happening to you, check the size of your avatar. If your patterns are blocky, it's telling you that your avatar is too small. As well, another way to check your pattern is to measure the circumference. So selecting one of my patterns from my shirt, I can see it is 417.2 millimeters or the symmetrical line length. So symmetrically, it's 834. This should be in the thousands range. Um, so I can already tell that this is too small. If this line length is small like this, that's telling you that you're working at too small of a scale. As well as you can check your scale by going to the library tab, going to garments and importing one of the basic garments like a t-shirt or a pair of pants. And I've already done that, so I'm just gonna zoom out here and I can compare the size of the t-shirt to the actual t-shirt for an avatar that fits within the 1200 to 2000 millimeter height range. If I select one of these patterns, let me actually, if I select one of these patterns after merging it, just so we have a proper reference, if I select it, I can already see that my line length is more than double the two small shirt line lengths. This one is at 1,158 millimeters, whereas the one down here is 417. This is less than half. So that's telling me that I'm working at too small of a scale. So just keep an eye out. If your line length for your shirt is not in the thousands and it's not a very small piece of a shirt, then that can be telling you that you're working at too small of a scale. Let's go ahead and place this shirt on our avatar turning off the mesh, pretending we don't know it's too small. Number one, I already can't use my arrangement points because she is too small. And remembering to flip the normals, or in this case, just rotate it in the 3D space. And let's go ahead and create a sewing relationship using the segment sewing tool. I can do this in the 3D window, even though it's still too small. And here's one sign as you're making your garment. These sewing relationship lines, these are indicating that there's a sewing relationship showing you where the sewing is going to. They are very large. They should be having at least double the amount of indicator lines going between the two segment lines. So let's go ahead and simulate. And here is the second one for this segment. It is not draping on her properly. We can see that it is floating quite high, in fact, above her torso. And it's vibrating. <laughs> so we can see that it's having some issues. Let's also check the strain map. As you can see, the strain map is red, showing that it is very tight fitting on her. So this fabric here has 2.5 millimeters of collision thickness and the avatar itself, every imported avatar is going to have a 3.0 millimeter collision thickness. That is telling me that this very large gap is only 5.5 millimeters. This is indicating that my avatar is imported at too small of a size. For cloth issues, again, having it floating like this, we remember that it is a 5.5 millimeter collision thickness between the avatar and the cloth combined, as well as it's not draping at all like we would expect, and it's having collision issues, it's vibrating here, it easily will pass through your avatar. 
You can check this by comparing the mesh of your avatar to the mesh of your cloth. Again, the cloth is quite large like we previously discussed in another segment, but the mesh can pass through it quite easily and get stuck. This is indicating the mesh difference is telling me that my avatar might be imported too small, especially when this is the 20 base particle distance. Even if I bring this down to 10, as most would for exporting, let me turn off the mesh for that. There it is. It's still pretty blocky. Though the corners are a lot better than they were previously, it's still having some draping issues. Simulating again and turning the cloth back on. I can see here that even though it's at 10 particle distance, it's not draping how I would expect a t-shirt to potentially drape. Even if I pick it and pull it up, these wrinkles are not at all what I would expect of the quality of Marvelous Designer. And that is because this is at 10 particle distance. Let's bring it even down to five. This still isn't draping how I want. This is pretty blocky. I'm going to have a lot of cleanup later if I export this. And at five particle distance, this should look so much better than I'm, I'm seeing right now. This is again because our avatar is too small. I've imported her at about like a doll's height, a little bit like a larger doll. So if you're encountering very blocky wrinkles or blocky drape as well with Marvelous Designer, you might want to check the height of your avatar. That is it for now for the tips and tricks on how to check if your avatar is too small. Make sure to subscribe for more updates on our software and check out our other tutorial videos and helpful troubleshooting tips.